Ready, go! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Breakdown. In this episode, we have, in the yellow, Yevgeny Putnik of the Ukraine, up against the gentleman in the red, Grigalion Garboyev of Kazakhstan. And this is the 2019 Top 8 Finals, competing for third place here, these gentlemen. And the slip happens, and they are off to the straps. Looking now at the strap setup, you can see both athletes setting for the low hand top roll. Both have their wrist down with their fingers pointing toward each other. And from here, they will both look to top roll. The man with the better hand and wrist will win. Pack pressure and side pressure from Evgeny Prudnik to start with, but Grigali on Garbayev containing it with drag. And here comes his pronation now cracking the wrist of Evgeny Prudnik. On Garbayev now chipping away the wrist of Evgeny Prudnik going back. His side pressure has been neutralized as his wrist goes. And here we go. With it fully now compromised, Krigali on Garbov has the access to the power he needs to get the job done and takes a 1 0 lead. You can see here in the slow motion now that first side pressure drive and back pressure drive from Prudnik, not enough to get through the hand of Krigali. Krigali then equalizes with the drag of his own. You can see it right there, and pronation comes through and it cracks the wrist of Evgeny Prudnik. From here, the wrist goes even further with the next drive from Grigali, and once that wrist is back, it's everything he needed to get the job done. Grigali Kombagabaev, my apologies, will get the wrist back. Here it goes, one more surge. The wrist will go, and from there, Evgeny Prudnik completely neutralized now for side pressure, and from there, Grigali taking control with another side pressure drive, getting the victory, 1-0. Very impressive start there from the man from Kazakhstan. All right, going into round two, you can see a change from Evgeny Prudnik. Knuckles now pointing towards the sky. That is an indicator. He's looking for an inside move. Kugali on Garbo of looking for the low hand top roll again, but Prudnik, too much power there. The wrist strength, the hand strength and containment, too much for the pronation of Kugali on Garbo. You can see the slow motion replay. The pronation of Von Garbov not able to get through the cupping strength from Evgeny Prudnik. The side pressure drive, the dragging down pressure, from that inside move there, enough to get the job done and equalize the score 1-1. This epic battle will continue. All right, round three. Again, look at the setup here. Prudnik now in the yellow there. The low shoulder, the high knuckles. This sets him up so he can supinate off the go. Once he supinates, if his hand is strong enough to contain the pronation, he will be in control. And there it is, once again in control. Let's look at the slow motion replay once again. Outstanding arm wrestling there from Prudnik. That high knuckles position and the strength through his hand enough to secure what he needs to negate the side pressure of Krigali on Garbayev and expose the bicep, getting him the victory. 2-1 to Evgeny Prudnik from Ukraine. Right, moving into the fourth round, similar setup now from Prudnik, but you can see the change from Ugrali. He's going with a knuckles up top roll himself, a posting top roll, but not enough. Okay, once again, you'll see a fascinating initiation, an inside initiation there from Prudnik, and watch for right, n right about now. There he goes. He starts to pronate himself and take the wrist of Grigali. So a good combination of both an inside and outside pulling there from Evgeny, showing his versatility and strength all round to take a 3-1 lead, one match away from securing the overall victory. All right, into round five, similar setup again. Prudnik in control now. Grigali having to look for it. He's gone back to his low hand top roll, but the knuckles are still up from Prudnik. And there's that containment once again, looking very strong. Not threatened at all in that round there. Evgeny Prudnik can see a very calm look on his face. The replay will show it. The supination and cupping combination, far too much for Krigali on Gaivayev. His drag, unable to affect the hand and wrist of Evgeny this time round. And Evgeny just leaning over nicely with side pressure, the, the cupping of the wrist, getting even deeper there towards the end. And taking a 4-1 victory. That secures the overall win for this final. But one round to go. What can Grigali on Garboyev do? Let's see if there is anything left in this fight. And there is the match. You can see Prudnik now giving time for Grigali to work. Grigali in a defensive top roll. Evgeny Prudnik's wrist now going back, but looking like he's going to concede. Oh, he's coming back in with a bit of a cheeky press. But on Garboyev set now in his low hand top roll. Prudnik probably could have won this match earlier, but he's given Grigali the time, and there goes the wrist. And from there, Grigali, too much side pressure. All right, the replay will show it. Initially, Prudnik looks to do a top roll. Doesn't happen. 
He then acknowledges and gives the time. There's that attempted top roll. He comes forward and does a little cheeky press. Again, acknowledging that the low hand top roll from Kigali is very solid. The wrist goes back. He concedes there, but Kigali doesn't pin. Prudnik comes back into it one more time just to have a bit more fun. Uh, I do think that, that Kigali probably would have lost this match 5 1 had Prudnik have gone for it, but there goes the wrist. The gentleman that is Evgeny Prudnik allows Kigali to do what he does best and gets the victory there. Leaving the total score at four to two to the man from Ukraine in the yellow, Evgeny Brudnik, your winner. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the breakdown. Yes, that's a man!